everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something a little different planned for you guys. I'm actually going to be doing a circuit breaker quarantine um, kind of like shopping haul video. So majority of the pieces of clothing from this haul are going to be from AliExpress and Easy Buy because I'm a very budget person when it comes to shopping and I like to look for good and cheap deals. For me, Easy Buy is where I can purchase cheap clothing, affordable clothing with decent quality and looks pretty cute as well. I would say that AliExpress is a tad more expensive than Easy Buy and their shipping also takes a relatively long time to come. So if you were to ask me, I would actually recommend um, Easy Buy more than AliExpress. Um, I don't know if you can see but my dog is at the back chewing on my clothing. <laughs> so this is Bubbles. Um, she's a Yorkshire Terrier. She's very cute. She's only 9 months of school, which explains the teething. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with the video. So I'm going to be starting off with tops first. The first item that I got would be this blue crop top. It's a very nice shade of powder blue. Uh, it's a crop top that I think goes very well with white shorts, white pants, white jeans. This costs $11.20 and I got this from AliExpress. Okay, the second item I got is also from AliExpress and it is this green, I think it's sea green, crop top as well with a little um, gathering detail at the front. And this top costs um, $12.60. The next item I got would be this um, white crop top. It's very Brandy Melville inspired. It is um, a knitted material and it's quite cropped. I can't remember the exact pricing of this top, but if I am not wrong, it should cost around seven to eight dollars on Easy Buy. The next item I got is kind of similar, but it's this white knitted crop top that I got from Easy Buy. It's a ribbed material. This top costs um, fourteen dollars and eighty five cents, but I think it's really worth it. And the last top I got would be this top. This top costs thirteen dollars and thirty cents on AliExpress. It's like a cropped long sleeve um, peasant top. I don't know what you would call it. It has like these balloon sleeves which I really like as well. Moving on to dresses, the first dress that I got would be this Reformation inspired dress. I think it's really cute. It comes in this summer orangey floral print and it's a very soft cotton material. It's a midi dress and it flares out. It only costs $11 from Easy Buy. Super worth it. I'll link it in the description box. The second dress that I got, uh, which is also from the same seller on Easy Buy, is another um, Reformation inspired dress. It comes in this really pretty blue chiffon polka dot kind of print. Um, the straps are self-tie so you can kind of like adjust the length. This costs also $11.90 uh, $11 actually on Easy Buy. Super worth it for the material. Okay, the next dress that I got would be this dress. It is um, slightly more expensive. It costs above $20. This is $25 on AliExpress. Not very worth it because it's super short. So I think this is the kind of dress that I can only wear to the beach. It's a pity because I was really looking forward to this dress but it's too short. The next dress I got would be this dress that I wore for my birthday. It's this mesh polka dot print dress. I think it's really pretty. It's very flattering. The only thing I don't like about this dress is also that it's pretty short. So it's similar to the yellow dress that I showed you just now. But I wore it out anyway. I uh, made sure to walk properly and not to bend down. So I think it went okay. If I'm not wrong, this dress cost around $15 or $16 on AliExpress. Next dress would be this dress that is like a very sporty athleisure kind of look. It has these um, cut out details at the front. I haven't got a chance to wear it out yet. This dress costs $14 on AliExpress. The next dress that I got would be this very pretty sea green dress. It's just a straight cut um, bodycon dress. It's ripped and it has a little slight, very very small slit at the bottom left. This one is from AliExpress and it costs $16.80. For the material, this is super worth it to me. I think some online blog shops are selling these kind of dresses for like a double the price. I think this is my favourite, one of the favourite dresses that I got from Easy Buy. And I think it's like a Zara inspired dress. It says like 39.95 euros here, but I got it for $12.20. Super freaking cute, okay? It's this gingham light blue bodycon midi dress. I haven't got a chance to wear it yet. But I cannot wait to wear this out. I think it's super me and it would go very nicely with a pair of white heels. 
The next dress I got, so many dresses, oh my god, would be this maxi. I think I have a thing for sea green and baby blue dresses. But this is a baby blue, powder blue kind of racer bag maxi dress. This one cost me $18. It's slightly more expensive. The dress I got would be this red colour printed dress from Easy Buy. It reminds me of a very like Reformation inspired dress as well. It's very sweet looking. I like the puffy sleeves and it's a high neckline dress. And it's just something I would like wear to church or like a nice lunch or brunch or even like on a little date. The next dress I got would also be this Reformation inspired dress from Easy Buy. This one cost me $9.75 only. I think you can wear it like off shoulder or like on shoulder. The thing I dislike most about this dress is that it does not have a nice like waist hugging figure. <laughs> it makes it look like I don't have a figure at all so it probably needs to be altered. If not, um, I probably would not wear this dress at all. The next dress I got would be this, <laughs> again, baby blue dress. It's this off-shoulder smock dress. If I do recall correctly, this dress also costs somewhere between $10 to $12. This dress that I got is my favourite thing that I got from Easy Buy and it's this beautiful puffy sleeved sundress. And it only cost freaking $10. It's double lined so it's not even see-through at all. And I've gotten so many compliments when I've worn this dress out once before. The next dress I got would be this rib bodycon dress. It is super super body hugging. And it's very fitting and flattering for my body type. I love the heart shaped neck lined. And this one is slightly more expensive because I bought it for around $22. Which is pretty pricey for something on AliExpress. The last dress that I got from AliExpress is this beautiful beige nude colour uh, maxi dress. This dress is really simple and minimalistic and I think it's perfect for work. I've worn this out for client meetings and I've also gotten compliments from wearing this dress. It comes with a string, a ribbon that you can tie around your waist if you want it to hug your body nicely. But I like to wear it without the ribbon and I think it looks perfect this way as well. Moving on to other brands, the the first dress I have from Miss Selfridge is this olive green satin crawl neck dress. Uh, it's not very body hugging and flattering so I would probably wear a belt um, to go along with this so that it hugs my figure nicely. This dress was slightly more expensive. I think it cost around $30 plus because I got it on Zalora. The next dress I got will be from H&M and it's this really cute body hugging denim dress. Um, I actually bought it for a beach day picnic with my friends, but we didn't even go in the end. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the next time that I get to wear this. This one cost me $29.95. Moving on to two items that I got from Bershka recently. One would be this purple colour cardigan knitted uh, crop top. I wore this in my last video where I filmed my Dyson Airwrap review. Uh, it's really cute and it's really soft. This one also costs around $29.95. And then the last item that I got from Bershka would be this nude colour sweatpants. It's a very thick knit material and it flares out so it's very cute. It will look very cute with the purple um, Bershka cardigan as well. This one is more expensive, it costs $49.95. So we've come to the end of the video and I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any suggestions on what kinds of videos I should make in the future, please do leave them in the comment section below and help to like and subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications when I upload another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!